China and the United States were competing at the peer level in AI, and that the good work that you have done and your predecessors did to restrict chips were slowing them down. They're really doing something more different than I thought. They're not pursuing crazy AGI strategies, partly because of the hardware limitations that you've put in place, but partly because the depth of their capital markets don't exist. They can't raise, based on a wing and a prayer, $100 million or a MMBA equivalent to, to build the data centers. They just can't do it. And so the result is they're very focused on taking AI and applying it to everything. And so the concern I have is that while we're pursuing AGI, which is incredibly interesting and we should talk about, and all of us will be affected by this, we better also be competing with the Chinese in day-to-day -day stuff. I saw all the, sh the Shanghai robotics companies, and these guys are attempting to do in robots what they've successfully done with elect electric vehicles, right? And they're re they, their work ethic's incredible, they're well-funded, it's not the crazy valuations that we have in America. Right. They can't raise the capital, but they can win across that. China is competing with open weights and open training data, and the U.S. is largely and majority focused on closed weights, closed data. That means that the majority of the world, think of it as the Belt and Road Initiative, are going to use Chinese models and not American models.